Hey, what's going on guys? Seth Carr back with another video, and today I am here with a LEGO Star Wars set. This is set number 75147. It is the Star Scavenger. It comes with 558 pieces. Here is the box. As you can see, it has uh, basically everything just laid out. Looks like a battle going on. On the back, you know, as usual, you see the little pictures showing what it does and removable parts and all that. So now I'm going to open the box real quick. Just show you the manual, the uh, instruction booklet. Still has like Force Awakens, has all the different sets in the back. And it shows you all the pieces. I just want to show you how many... It is 177 uh, instruction like for the instructions but it's actually 89 pages long so that is not that bad now I'm just gonna fold this back up put it right back over here so I think what I'm gonna do is start on the minifigures so here we have Cordy she is the main girl in the well one of the main women in the Lego Star Wars uh, TV show which I think this is I'm not even so sure. The, it's like the adventures of something. She comes with a little saw in her hand. And the detailing is, is really good, as you can see. It'll focus on that. The back and the front. The facial, fe facial features are really good as well. And next we have Zayden, I think. Zayden. I, I'm not so sure on the names. I don't watch the TV show. But he has a wrench, the hair piece. Details are good as always with Lego. To be honest, I don't even know this guy's name. What's his name? Rowan. Next guy. <laughs> Sorry. Next we have Rowan. Let me just get that little piece out. He comes with binoculars. See, as I've said in the past, the only thing I don't like about the miniature people is the um, the legs. You can't move the legs, which makes sense. And this is a kyber crystal. It's just a little crystal piece. And next we have R R O G R, I think. That says it just comes with a cup. Has different droid parts. It has a dark brown droid part. Then like the ast. If you know the space droids, like the the space battle droids, this is what the orange pieces. These like tan brown pieces are. And then there's a regular battle droid arm with a cup in his hand. Now, next we have... Uh, I'll go on the miniature part. This is just like a little walker. I guess they use it to, like, scoop up stuff in their little... Uh, what's it called? Their, like, other spaceship that they land in. This moves up and down. Has a little seat in there. The legs actually move, which is pretty good. It honestly... Honestly, that... I'm so, I don't even know. It just looks it looks weird to me. I don't know if you guys see that, but yeah. Now on to the actual the main attraction, the Star Scavenger. I'll I'll show you the bottom. So these there's these little pieces here that fold up just if you want to add pieces on the bottom. And you see this compartment right here? What you do is these two actually just fold out like that. And what you can do is just, you know, you would just place that in there. I believe you. what you do is you do this with the legs. And then you're going to want to, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand, you know. I think you move the legs like this, move that up, move the legs like that. Oh, I just shot the thing. <laughs> and then you're going to want to just, I guess, put it in there somehow. I'm not so sure how it goes in. But if you guys already know, just leave a comment so people who actually want to watch this will understand how it goes in. Next, we have the turrets at the top. You know, this part shoots. See if I could fire it at the lens. I don't want to fire it at the lens. I feel like I break the lens. It comes with a little window. And this actually opens up. And you can apparently, apparently in the, it says on the back of the box that you could fit everyone in there but I honestly don't believe that let me just go grab the um 
Where is it? I was gonna grab the, here it is, the little bullet thing. Just put that in there. And next I'll show you the details on the ship itself. So, up here you can see the logo. Their, their logo, I guess. There's a lot of dribbling, dribbling, and that's basically just like adding pieces to make it look like it's detailed. Like as you can see up here, and it, if you look, there's pieces under that, and then there's a piece. There's pieces here, just to make it look like it's an actual like ship, or it looks, you know, realistic. Um, I got this on Amazon near after Christmas, uh, for just a set to get, another set to get. I had the money at the time, and I really wanted to, I've been wanting this set for a long time. Uh, I give it a a 9 out of 10. It was a good, it was fun to build. It didn't take that long for me. It only took like maybe like 45 minutes. Um, I really, the price was only 34 when I got it. It's still 34, so that's, it's a good price for this set. I mean, it's pretty big. Like if you compare it to my hand, it's bigger than my hand. So most of you know I, my hands are average size. <laughs> Anyways, guys, there's going to be another post today. There's going to be a, um, I bought some clothes down at Marshall, uh, Burlington and Models. So, uh, definitely going to leave a review today on that. So, definitely leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more content like this. Um, I'm probably going to do another LEGO review tomorrow and a Super Bowl thing because, you know, tomorrow's a Super Bowl. Hopefully the Falcons win. Peace, guys.